Hello and welcome! In this video lesson, we will talk about important points about the installation of a solar pumping system using CFW500 solar variable speed drive. An installation of a photovoltaic pumping system requires these four basic items photovoltaic plant, variable speed drive, water pump, and water supply system. When dealing with the power circuit in the CFW500 solar variable speed drive of a smaller size, frame A, the power input goes into terminals identified as L1 and L2. The positive terminal of the photovoltaic generator must be connected to L1 terminal of the VSD and the negative must be connected to L2 terminal. It is important to use fuses at the VSD input as well as protection by SPD and a disconnect switch. The motor terminals must be connected to the VSD output identified as U, V and W. Do not forget to connect the ground terminals of the motor and the VSD to the installation ground. Although the motor connection does not change, the power connections at the input of VSD sizes B, C, D and E require the positive signal from the photovoltaic generator to go into the terminals L1, L2 and L3 of the VSD. In turn, the negative signal must be connected to minus UD. In order for the solar pumping system to operate, in addition to preparing the power circuit, the control circuit connections must be also made, which, in essence, occur with the add of the VST plugin module. At the control, it is proposed to use a retentive contact to digital input 1, DI1. Terminal 16 and 17 of the module receive the cables coming from this DI. This will have the on-off function. Terminal 6 receives the negative terminal from the pressure transducer and Terminal 15 receives the positive terminal. With the sensor installed at the outlet of the water pipe, the VSD decides on the need to accelerate or decelerate the motor pump. Into terminals 18 and 24, positive terminal 18 and negative terminal 24, the solar detector is connected to inform the VSD of the moments of low irradiation. This is an example of an arrangement that will allow the assembly to operate this pumping system. Attention! It is possible to operate without the transducer as long as it does not require pressure control in the piping. The solar detector is also optional, but without it, the system starts and stops more times a day, especially on low radiation days. In case of installation with hybrid supply, where there are moments when the existing radiation is sufficient to start the pump and other moments when the power comes from a generator or from the grid, it is necessary to think about the following configuration for the grid. The energy generated by the photovoltaic modules is taken to the VSD terminal identified as plus UD and minus UD, owing the polarity. It is important to note that that power diode must be installed as foreseen in the manual. The motor supply comes from terminals U, V and W. The grid or generator is connected to terminals L1, L2 and L3. The variable speed drive selects the type of energy input by a constant evaluation of the irradiation seen by the solar detector. This is highly recommended in a hybrid application where there is the grid 
and the solar energy supplying the system. In case of good irradiation, the photovoltaic system serves as a source of energy for the pump. Otherwise, the DO1 digital output automatically changes position and selects another type of source, which can be the grid or the generator. The next video will discuss the parametrization of the CFW500 solar variable speed drive. Follow WAG on social media, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to receive notifications about products, lectures and video lessons. For more information, visit our website.